guys no more 7755 here and today I'm going to show you how to remove some of the default uh, apps that you do not need for uh, Windows 10 and Windows 10 is one of those uh, new operating systems that a lot of people are having trouble to you know upgrade to because they're afraid or it makes their computer slow now personally for me my computer is way faster now that I upgraded to uh, Windows 10 from Windows 7 but for some people uh, there are apps that are still annoying them and they don't want them at all so what you want to do is go to PowerShell oh and by the way before you go to PowerShell uh, click on settings and if this is on turn it off it basically turns off web browsing from this search button and it eliminates a lot of uh, CPU usage and uh, especially Cortana uh, other privacy settings Let apps use my advertising ID. Okay, we'll go into that later, but pretty much what this does is uh, make Cortana much lighter and because it can get annoying sometimes. But anyway, let's go to PowerShell, Windows PowerShell, and uh, what we want to do here is I'm going to give you guys some commands to remove some apps that you may not like. And one of the apps is called uh, 3D Printing. So what we're going to do is type in like exactly how I type you're gonna t I'm gonna put all of the commands in the description by the way but anyway I'll type in get dash app X package and then space artwisk 3d artwisk then you're gonna do shift and backslash like that then you're gonna do remove dash app x package like that and then click enter and it should work okay and you want to do now what we want to do is remove the xbox so you're going to do get dash app x package sorry like that and then xbox but I know I'm a slow typer, but you know I'm trying to teach you guys some of the commands so you can learn the pattern here. But again, if you're too lazy, then you can just copy from the description. Like that. Now it says failed because you know I already did the I already did the command and so uh when you already removed it it says failed. So it's gonna be failed for all my commands because I already removed these. Uh, the next one is Bing. Okay, nobody likes Bing. I personally find it awful. I'd rather use Google. So, okay, and Bing like that. Okay, same command, and remove. Okay, so you're starting starting to see the pattern here. Okay. Now it's processing, it may take some time, again, this one failed too, because I removed all of them. The next one is called Zune, I don't even know what that is, all I know is that it's really annoying. Okay, so Zune, we're going to remove that one. Okay, enter, bam, gone. Uh, photos. By the way, uh, proceed at your own risk for this. I'm, you know, I'm sorry I'm telling this late, but I do not know how to restore these apps whatsoever. So if you do remove them, um, you know, whoops, I made a mistake there, but you get the point. So um, I'm going to put a l bunch of, you know, commands in the description for you to remove them so that you don't need them. Uh, these are all useless apps, by the way. You absolutely do not need them, and it will just make your Windows 10 slower. So now what we want to do is go to Task Manager. Okay, open Task Manager, and uh, as you can see, mostly, you know, it's, there's not much usage. Go to Startup, and you want to disable Microsoft OneDrive. Now, if you use OneDrive, um, it's up to you, but for me, I don't use it. I personally use Dropbox and even then I don't even use it in a desktop I use it online so 
uh, this is just one of those things that again takes up CPU so I don't like Microsoft OneDrive so you can disable that one from here you can click you can either enable it or disable it up to you okay uh, but as for the uh, other apps then yeah all you got to do is just uh, follow my description and look at the name of the apps that I posted and those you know will help you remove them and uh, hopefully your uh, Windows 10 will get faster and also do what I told you go to the settings here and make sure the search online is disabled okay uh, and if they if Windows Cortana asks you about stuff just say not interested and then I'm sure okay so you're disabling Cortana you don't want to use that again it takes a lot of it takes like 40% CPU so uh, another way you can do this is run uh, go to run here and you want to go to prefetch click OK continue and we want to control and then A to select all of them click delete and remove 280 items uh, I'm using this right now in the thing so it re will remove some of these but you want to go to run again and you want to go to percent temp percent and these tricks are old tricks but uh, the ones that I showed you to remove the Windows 10 those are you know for the Windows 10 the ones that I'm showing you right now are old tricks from Windows 7 and Windows XP so you want to click delete as well and that's it uh, that's fine you don't have to you know it's whatever skip And then empty recycle bin. Okay, so and just another thing, guys. Like, you need to have relatively good, uh, you know, you need to have a relatively good memory, like four gigabytes of RAM. You need to have a decent, uh, you know, computer to begin with. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if you can, if your computer can handle Windows Seven, then it can handle Windows Ten. Uh, but that's it for today guys hope this video helped you remove some of those annoying uh useless apps that you don't like uh comment share subscribe like the video do whatever you want or don't do whatever you want um it's all up to you anyway peace out guys